Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Salam sejahtera, salam mekar bahagia di hati My name is Syekh Muhammad Haskil Daniel bin Syekh Muhammad Sifur Izzam from IPG Campus Raja Melewa and today I'll be presenting about the basic concepts of philosophy and importance of philosophy of education to teachers. We move on to the content. So today uh, for the first topic, I'll be presenting about the basic concepts of philosophy and we'll be moving on to the second topic, which is philosophy of education. And last but not least, we'll move on to the importance of philosophy of education to teachers. All right. So I'll be explaining about the basic concepts of philosophy. So according to Schofield in 1972, philosophy is a process of questioning. Philosophy is considered as one or two comprehensive system of ideas about the human's nature and the true meaning of reality in which we are currently in. Philosophy is also considered as a life guide for some as the issues that we're focused on is basic in nature. For example, knowledge, knowledge source, the, existing, the existence of the human race, and also the good and the bad. So we move on to the next slide, which is the philosophy of education. In general, uh, education can be explained into three different perspectives, which is the first one is the individual perspective, which is psychology. Second one is community's perspective, which is sociology. And the third one is philosophy's perspective. George F. Neller in 1971 states that education refers to any act or experience that has a formative effect on the mind, character, or physical ability of an individual. In its technical sense, education is the process by which society through schools, college, and other institutions deliberately transmit its cultural change. While, according to John Dewey in 1961, education is what nutrition and reproduction are to physiological life. Education is to social life. While Hassan Langulung in 1997 stated that education is a process of self-potential improvement. So we move on to the next slide. Philosophy of education. Philosophy of education is a field of applied philosophy which uses traditional philosophies such as ontology, ethics, epistemology to answer questions about the education policies, human development and curriculum theories. Philosophy of education is a philosophical investigation about goals, process, behavior and other things that relates to education. Next, we move on to the importance of philosophy of education to the teachers. Hassan Langulong in 1987 explained the use of education philosophy as an application of philosophical methods and views in education. <clears throat> It includes uh, finding concepts that can align different pictures into a comprehensive plan. Explaining educational terms, principle or policy assumptions where education stands and revealing classifications related to humanity organize activities that make uh, philosophy as its medium to organize the educational process, coordinate and harmonize it, as well as explain the values and goals to be achieved. The other importance of philosophy of education to teachers is, uh, it is as 
a practical activity by educators and philosophers to explain the educational process, coordinate, critique and change it based on cultural problems and contradictions. The last importance of philosophy of education to teachers is the educational theories and ideologies that emerge from an educator's philosophical attitudes, experience and studies of education. We'll move on to the next slide, which is the references. So this is uh, the references that I use in my slides. Thank you. That is all from me today. Thank you for listening and for your time. I'm Shema Maske Daniel. Thank you for listening.